This is absolutely true. When you start Googling your partner's behavior and you start to find things like narcissism and coercive control and all that stuff, you'll start to see a lot of things that are adding up. But at the same time, if you are not fully ready to accept it, and most likely you're not because you're in a trauma bond, you're just, you're starting to see the light. But of course you are still so deep in it. It's highly likely that you'll still explain away the behaviors like I did. For example, I was reading in a lot of places that they will never apologize. A narcissistic or abusive person will not apologize, but they do. They won't apologize the way that we understand it to be, but they will apologize to manipulate you into ending an argument or to getting their way or to getting you to stay in this abusive relationship. So I would see that and say, well, this can't be them because they'll apologize. Like they have apologized maybe like twice in two and a half years, right? And so it's really important to be aware of the black and white language and to understand that with abuse, it's not black and white, right? We see a lot of behaviors that are pretty common across the board that we don't see in non-abusive people necessarily. And we want to make sure that we say, or in our brains when we're looking at this, say, okay, well, they don't often apologize. Or when they do apologize, it doesn't feel right. Something still feels really yucky for me. So I'm going to keep that one on the yes column, right? Instead of saying, well, this says never or always because never and always can keep us stuck.